all life is made of cells. This is a single cell, a building block of life. All functions in our body can be traced to a process in a single cell. But it's also the origin of where things can start to go wrong. In the Proxomics project, we're developing techniques to study the behavior and function of cells at the single cell level in new, exciting ways. Looking at individual cells is important. For example, in cancer, a tumor may have many different types of cell, each with a different kind of behavior. It is particularly important to understand how the individual cells work in order to develop new anti-cancer treatments. In Proxomics, we are three universities working together, developing new techniques and studying the functional biomolecules found inside cells, such as proteins. So the Proxomics project brings together scientists from across the UK to study single cells. To develop novel technologies to um, look at oxidative damage to proteins. To apply the wide range of technologies and scientific approaches uh, ranging from chemical biology, mass spectrometry, single cell analysis to answer an important biological question. What the project essentially does is build on um, tools, technology, knowledge and experience developed in the doctoral training centres and to grow those further to the point where the methods can actually be used for studying uh, important biological and biomedical problems. The key thing to this really is multidisciplinarity. We don't really think of ourselves as physicists, chemists, engineers uh, or biologists anymore. It's simply a group of scientists who are maybe trained in originally physics or chemistry but are, are studying biological problems. I need to meet all these people from different fields which are expert in their own field so I, I create a lot of contacts. They also develop a lot of skills that I might not otherwise have had. There's lots of toing and froing, so it doesn't matter whether a PhD student or a PAI has a great idea, it's acted upon. We're starting to get more engaged in outreach activities to uh, show the public and the wider scientific world what we're actually doing, which I think is an important part of any significant scientific endeavour. To that effect, the team has been developing a, a kind of scientific roadshow with demonstrations uh, and with information, with talks that they can take to a range of uh, different public events so that we can not only spend our time talking scientist to scientist, but also scientist to the public as well. We're really proud to have been selected for the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition. We'll bring to our exhibit the actual technologies we use to study single cells every day in our labs. Come join us and find out why single cell research matters.